we try to to um, to cope with it by prayers and uh, going to church almost every day just so we can be close to God and and and, and search for for ourselves or for the truth what happened up to now we haven't found uh, peace I guess the only way that uh, uh, console us is our relationship with God and most of all with our grandchildren our children and uh, the memories of Enzo somehow we bringing back the memories the good happy memories with Enzo is the way to cope it's a life changer having a motorsport you know in motorsport as far as his career is concerned and also we were hosting uh, Asian V at the time that we were dreaming of expanding in Asia so it's a life changer for me to attend to a lot of uh, court hearings that we attend to now and uh, talking to lawyers you know for almost a year Yeah, that's uh, Independence Day, June 12th. So we came from a small gathering in Soler. And then on the way back, we figured Enzo might be at home for dinner in Magallanes. That night, he came from Batanga. So he stopped over his house to meet his kids for dinner and the wife. Luckily, we were, you know, we, we passed by. Them there. So we had a sort of a short dinner. Because he's preparing to go to Clark that night. So that's the that's about 7, 7.30 in the evening. That's about two hours before he got shot. I told him, I'll go with you. Let's make the driver drive the truck and then you you can ride with me. Like we can follow the... Then we're discussing about the routes that's possible to pass through to prevent traffic. He was very tired, except from... Batangas to Magallanes. What was very endearing was um, he he came to me and we sat together and then he said, I'm very tired, mommy. And that was the first time that he laid down his head on my lap. And he said, um, I'd rather sleep, but I have to do this. We were prodding him to just give it up. It's late, it's not safe. And then said, no mom, I love doing this. So I was just touching his forehead and, and I felt like I had my baby back while the two boys were playing and Dolly was right there on the table, busy uh, doing her text and all that. I was supposed to go to the bathroom and I saw him standing. And I said, oh, you're, you've grown. You've grown so tall and big, so I call, before you were so small. And then, yeah. but I don't want him to go. So because of that, uh, we told him that we will walk you to the truck. So the two of us and him, right, we, in between us, we led him down, downstairs to the truck. Well, when we were convoying him to the shell station, so we left him there. So I knew his route, so we went ahead. So after half an hour, I saw him pass by on our street in Fort Bonifacio. Yeah. So I, I said, there, there he goes. And then uh, after uh, 30, 45 minutes, the father of Dalia, Rahu Guerrero, called me up. He said that Enzo has been shot. So I wanted to talk to Dalia, but Dalia couldn't talk to me. So it was the father who told me where he sat. So we dressed up immediately and then you know, we went to the so hospital. I called, I called when, when we arrived there, we saw Dalia there and then the Enzo's body in the hospital. It was just covered with the green uh -huh. cloths and blood on his head, dripping. So, that was a dreadful. Yeah. Initial report was a tandem shooting because it's a motorcycle. As if Paul was 
telling us the story, although he was shot also, so we had to bring him to a hospital as well. So, but he was telling us that there was this guy uh, who came alone, to him alone with a motorcycle and then just started shooting it. He was supposed to get a divorce. Actually, they were separated for two or three months. Did he say why? But he wanted the divorce? It was Dario. Oh, okay. It was the wife who wanted because he, 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 he has another man, I suppose. As a mother, of course, I know that he's been very, very silent and, and lonely and, and sad. When they separated, there was no place for a person to go to but to me and I felt the pain. All my, my strength, my love, I poured out to him and, and told him that this you can go through and, and just forget her, there will be better days. I saw that um, he wouldn't give up on her. He really loved her. He yung heart ko Pero in fact, sabi niya, Mommy prayed for our family. Gusto niya buo. Gusto niya kasama niya. Then, oh, anak na. So, so I saw the character of my son. Masyado. So, so, hindi ko siya magmahal. Because of the divorce that he, he was asking for, we knew the real score. And the fact that, of course, the, the rumor that Enzo had he watched the guy in one of the restaurants at the fort. We knew already that there was uh, adultery going on. That time that he had the confrontation with the man, uh, Dahlia immediately went to Enzo, um, got mad at him, scratched him all over. I saw the scratches all over. So, parang na, he was abused. It was sort of parang, ano, ironic na yeah. siya pa yung nagagali. The fact that she's not doing anything about it, and the fact she that... She keeps on telling us that it's a random, it's a random it's a shooting, book. mommy. Don't even bother yeah, to search. Get into it. For me, it's like if my husband gets killed, of course I'll go gaga, you know. I'll, start looking or uh, I'll be the one to go to the NBI, I'll be the one to get, you know. She never did that. She never did never. that. So I felt like, hey, something is wrong with this situation, you know. It's against the law when the, you know, they get information ahead of the judge requirement. Perpeti, uh, Sabina, uh, Sabina uh, the telephone. The globe. Ito. They, of course, the uh, TNP investigation has their own, and, and their own way of getting it. But so they were able gun. to get, you know, as they showed it to us, 17 call logs. Uh, they were doing the, the task force with the, 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 the For the day. So Dalia and Sandy calling each other. Sandy From and the, gun the morning of 9 o'clock. Uh, Sandy and the gunman. So they were all in cahoots. On that day. And so then that after the killing, it was all silent. No more calls. Didn't yeah. know what happened to them. There was, you know, stop. After no 10, more texts no or call texts. After 10.30, yeah. no more. Mission accomplished. Yeah, mission accomplished. Even the government was saying uh, they would include me in the contract. Yeah, we were only four in the dinner. Table. Dalia, Enzo, me, and her. So, Young information that I want to go with it, so. Or try to. Someone among us was impeding the gunman. This is the word that my apple never wanted to hear that their mother is going to jail. But if she's innocent, and if you are not guilty, then you really fight for it. You know? I mean, as simple as that. Yeah, we'd like to invite uh, friends and 
relatives to Opa. And so, they say a little prayer on June 12 at uh, Heritage Park in Fort Bonifacio. And then there's a race on the June 13 in Clark for the Enzo Pastor Cup 